Listen, history is about to come to life in the present, and the city of Montgomery needs your help. The historic Peacock Tract community was right in the heart of this civil rights movement, and the city is using grant money to create a way to tell its story for future generations with an oral history project. This is Vincent Hall, who serves on the Projects Advisory Committee, along with Greg uh, Loggins, who is with the Montgomery City County Library. Let's talk a little bit about the Peacock Tract community and what a crucial role it has played in Montgomery's history, but really in our nation's history. Absolutely. Uh, the Peacock Track community uh, is vital to the part of the Seven of Montgomery Trail. Uh, as some may know, Rosa Parks, E.D. Nixon, uh, Sherman White, a lot of um, well-known people grew up in that community. So now with this grant, it's an opportunity for citizens for the community to share their stories of what that community was like when they were there growing up. Talk a little bit, Greg, about what we're hoping to accomplish with this project. Once it's, once it's finished, what are we hoping it will be? So not only is it a chance for uh, people who have lived in that community before to come and have their history recorded, uh, it's also a chance for people who are currently there to, to tell what it's like today and for all these stories to be combined so that people all around the world can explore the history of the Peacock Track. Explain exactly where this Peacock Tract community is. I know it sits in conjunction with Centennial Hill, which a lot of people are familiar with. Right. So for documentation purposes, uh, it would be east is Rosa Parks, north is Day Street, south is Early Street, and west is Oak Street. Now that's the, I guess, the formal description, but as we know, boundaries are fluid. So um, Washington Park, parts of Western Hills, uh, we want those people to come out with photocopies of, uh, you know, flyers, funeral programs, graduations, things like that, to uh, let people know that it was a very vibrant community, very much alive, and people laughed and, and loved. What kind of stories are we hoping to collect here? I think, you know, we'll leave that up to the community. Um, you know, it can be anything from a business, uh, social gatherings, say at the, at the uh, Elks Club, uh, the Lake Coast, because a lot of uh, famous, people played at these social settings. Like at the Elks Club, you had James Brown, the Commodores. At the Lake Coast, you had B.B. King. So there were people who uh, currently live in that community uh, have an opportunity to share those stories. Talk a little bit, Greg, about why it's so important to continue to tell these stories, to make sure that future generations hear these stories. Well, I mean, when you think about Montgomery in general, there are so many stories that haven't been told. And uh, the, the community and specifically the library in that area, uh, we would hear those stories all the time of people coming in and going, you know what this place used to be, uh, you, you know, back in my day. And, and so for us to be able to record this and share it with not just the people who are there now, but like you said, the future generations, uh, it, it's a way that we can try to inspire what can be. You mentioned things like pictures and flyers. What are we trying? What are we trying to pull together here? What do you need from the community? So I would ask, like, when you think of a community, there are so many different parts that come with it. So when I talk about flyers, uh, programs from graduations, uh, you know, newspaper clippings, things that define a community. You know, the last five letters in community is unity. So what brings people together? Programs, activities, things like that. Uh, I do believe that. When you, when you hear these stories, those older stories can uh, be sort of like a, the trials and tribulations of one generation can be a survival guide for a current generation. So, you know, nothing's really new. So we are hoping that the community can come out and help us define uh, what the Peacock Track and, and West Montgomery really is. Yeah, and then once it's all put together, how can the rest of us go back and, and relive these memories. So the plan right now is uh, once we have the digital assets and we want to reemphasize that uh, nothing original is going to be taken from anyone. We're just making copies of what they bring to us. Uh, but once we have the digital assets, those will be uploaded to the library's cloud storage. And then that can be accessed via a web page on our website. And so at that point, people all over the world can find out about the Peacock Track. Yeah, really cool. What a really cool project. How can we submit our, our belongings? How can we get them in touch with you? Right, right. so uh, the event will be taking place on the 26th at the library, the Bertha Williams Library, uh, from 10 to 12. Bring those out, they will be scanned, as Greg said, and, and returned. So, you know, feel free to contact me, 404-423-8353. Uh, and we're looking for 
uh, anything from say the early 1900s to 1990 and during that time frame. So that's that right. would be great. That's, that's a really that, that's a lot of time frame. Right? Yeah, it, it really is. I hope you're ready to collect yeah, a lot yeah, of a items. Lot. What a, a cool project you're putting together. Thank you for continuing you. to keep that history alive for the future. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much.